Hello and welcome back to another video from my Minecraft single player. Hope you're having a great day. Hope you're enjoying the summer. It's very hot currently here uh, at my place. So yeah, uh, kind of trying to uh, stay in the heat currently, but it's it's fine. It's nice with some warm weather. Anyway, welcome back. Um, last time we looked at a blacksmith, which I should probably just run over to and show you. Because I've been doing a bit of preparation stuff since last episode for today's episode. Because today I'm back with another build. And it's actually not just one build. I have two houses planned for today. Um, and uh, in those houses two farms as well. Oh, well, one farm, uh, the other one. Like, I'm going to do a... Let's just... Let me just tell you our plans for today. So, we're going to build a tailor workshop first of all inside the tailor workshop is going to be an automatic wool farm because you know it's nice to have a lot of wool different colors we'll be able to use them at some point so yeah need to gather a lot of different dye uh, we have some sheep over here behind me and then get them in a uh, dark basement basically uh, that's a, a very easy farm design to do for an, an automatic uh, wool farm that is going to sit right down here you can see I've tried to like lay out where the path is going to go with these cobblestones and then in here it's going to go and for the build I'm trying to uh, be inspired a bit by the new 1.19 update so for the roof I'm going to do a mix of mangrove wood and the um, the, the wood from the nether like the, the purple wood I don't really remember what it's called right now but uh, a mix of mangrove and that uh, nether wood and yeah, then the farm in the basement underneath. If we follow along the path, you can see I've sort of cleared out that area. But if we come up here, you can see it like kind of like goes off to the left a bit. It's not super obvious here, but uh, I have placed down uh, some dirt somewhere. Yeah, there, yeah, there you go. Uh, and over there as well. So in this area, we're going to have our brewing house, which I'm really looking forward to because I think it's going to be pretty epic and uh, like I planned sort of a, a long house uh, then inside we're going to have an automatic potion brewery uh, some fields in the back a nice tower as well to add to that like um, fantastic uh, brewing atmosphere so yeah I think it's going to be really great Um that's going to go in this area I haven't really <laughs> prepared for that yet but we'll do that in a bit we'll start off with the tailor workshop if we turn left and follow the main path, we come up to the blacksmith, which we built in the last episode. Super happy with that as well. Uh, really, really buzzing about this build. I think it turned out super great actually, with the with the large furnace. Yeah, pretty good. And of course, if we continue on the path, we get to the mining camp, which we built two episodes ago. They like custom terraformed a uh, hill with a mining camp. But we're not going to focus too much on that today because as I said we're going to be doing the two builds tailor workshop and a um, brewing house so you can be looking forward to those I think it's going to be some time lapses and yeah then we'll probably do the farms uh, in real time with you so you can see what I'm doing yeah let me gather some materials I think and then when I have gathered a few materials I think I will come back to you and quickly talk to you before uh, kicking, it in, kicking it into the first time lapse of the day right so I have gathered the resources that I need for the first build which is going to be the tailor workshop I can just show you I have put them in this chest behind me uh, oh uh, diamonds as well well <laughs> we don't need those but uh, I was just uh, repairing my axe but um, yeah these items we need you can see using some mangrove and crimson it's called for the roof and then just some some spruce dark oak and stone just the, the general regular building blocks and then I actually just start thinking like how annoying it is to find all of the stuff put it here and then having to move it to the build site every time so getting some shulker boxes is going to be really nice at some point but that's gonna have to be a, a few episodes time out still before we go to the end Oh, and uh, by the way, before we uh, get to building, starting the time lapse, I can probably just show you. I did a little bit 
off cam since the last clip. Um, as you can see, we now have a huge clearing in this area, um, <laughs> uh, which is where we're going to build the uh, brewing house. Yeah, now you might be thinking, well, that's a huge area for a brewing house. I totally agree, but uh, there's a bit more to it than a brewing house, and it might be <laughs> too overkill. This area might take up too much of the first, I don't really know, but it's a cool build I came up with, so I'm really happy for it. And if you want to see, see it, how it turns out, how it can fill up all of the space, then uh, make sure to watch uh, to the end of the video, because we'll start building that when we are done with the Taylor workshop. Yeah, as I said, making a lot of progress today, <laughs> building, building quite a few buildings and farms. So yeah, we're busy. We better get started with the time lapse. So enjoy the music and I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so I finished the first house, as you can see. Behind me, it is the tailor workshop we have. So, as I said, I wanted to use a bit of the new 1.19 blocks. Um, so I did that with the uh, mango and uh, uh, crimson. Mango and crimson wood uh, as the roof. I don't really know how well it fits into the theme we're going with around here, but yeah. I wanted to use some of the the new wood types. I might add in some leaves on the roof actually to make it blend in a bit better, but I think I'll do that at a later time then. And uh, now what we have to do is I have gathered the resources I need, as you can see, for the automatic wool farm. So I will go and do that in the basement because there's not space for it in here. It's going to take up a bit of space. So uh, what I'll start off by doing is replacing the floor, I think, with these uh, deep slate tiles and then I will make a like large staircase down here I think so let me quickly do that all right so floor is in place I just made like a staircase down don't know if I'll do anything else to it I probably add a bit more detail at some point but now I think the next task will be to dig down a huge area down here to place the farms in so I will get digging and then I will see you in just a second when we have a bit of space to play around with. Alright, so I have made a bit of progress since the last clip, which I will just show you. So if we head down the stairs now, it looks something like this. And yeah, it's very simple, just some tile deep slate, some stone bricks, a bit of spruce in the ceiling, some glass in the floor so we can see through. and yeah, then the sheep are going to be standing up here on their own grass block. And then when they eat the grass, they grow, uh, the wool will be sheared off them automatically. Mm. Then it will be picked up by a, a hub of minecarts, which are going to be running back and forth here. And will be unloading into these uh, two double chests. So yeah, uh, not too advanced of a design. Pretty simple, but uh, let's get to looking at the like farm designs themselves. But yeah, as I said, it really is not too complicated. What we will have to do is start off by coming down here, placing an observer, 
facing this way and just quickly jump back up again place a piece of redstone dust there take our dispenser and make it face this way then we take the glass and make the enclosure for the sheep to stand in so yeah it's actually pretty simple just like the sheep will stand in this glass and then we'll do this for all of these and I think I'll just quickly do that and then we can start capturing some sheep. Alright, there we have it. It looks a bit confusing now, but uh, I think what I'll do is probably put some of the colored wool underneath uh, each of these so we can see like which color the sheep is, even when it has been sheared. Um, but yeah, I think we're about ready to go and get some sheep. Luckily, I was able to make all of the dyes uh, in the game. Uh, I, I just tested that before we do this build and I was able to make all of them so that's just great and uh, so we can get one of each color sheep uh, now and start getting a bit of of every uh, color of wool anyway I think I'll grab some of the leads we have gotten from uh, one knowing traders killing one knowing traders and then I'll start grabbing some we very uh, nicely have some in the pen there so we can easily just grab those and bring them down here well easily i hope it will go hmm, how do i do this can i maybe just get a few of you on here and then i'll try and open these gates and see if you can well okay 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 um okay that was a... oh god that was a creeper um <laughs> Yeah, this is not going too well, is it? Okay, how didn't I hear that? I have no idea. I didn't hear it coming. Yeah, and now I have sheep everywhere. Let me take all of you guys to the new house, to a new home. Right, so if I can just bring as many of them as possible into the house. And then I'll bring them down there one by one. But if you can just come inside. And then we just need... Or just... Then we need to get you in this booth. So maybe some wheat will actually be these will probably be the okay and oh, I can't even get up there yeah well so now it's there no 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 please Come on okay glass glass okay well there we go each sheep is now in a pen here oh, well pen it's not really super nice for them <laughs> uh like comparing to where they come from but they're here they are being used for farming wool uh, so better purposes now anyway uh, all that's left now is to get them all uh, colored with different dyes and fill some shears into the dispensers and then we should be ready to get the farm working so let me quickly grab the dye and some shears and then we can see if it works all right there we go so all of the sheep have been colored in a different color and i have placed i think four yeah four shears in every dispenser so it should work now when the grass grows back and um, then they should wait i just realized the grass is not going to grow back we need oh we're not done yet we need like a grass or in between that can spread to them oh it's getting really late okay i'm tired um but i'm not done yet uh well what i'll do is i'll place in the i'll place in the mine carts and then Oh uh, yeah, well then I then I will go and put in some grass in between and then I will come back when it actually works. So see you in a few minutes again. Oh well, a second for you, but unfortunately a bit longer for me. Okay, well I'm trying again and this time I believe it is actually working as it should be. You can see that some of the sheep are being sheared now and when the grass like grows back they will eat it, that will activate the observer, which will then shear them, and then it will basically just go around and around like that. Like that. Not really growing too fast right now. I think it's because they just placed down the grass. You can see I just placed it in between. It can it can grow through glass, so that's not a problem. Um but yeah. Should be working now, as I said, hopefully. That's it for the sheep farm now. Now let's move on to the other project of the episode which is going to be the brewing house all right so now that the sheep farm is well definitely sort of working it's time to turn our attention to this area 
where as i said earlier we are going to be building a brewing house which i'm actually really excited for well why am i building a brewing house do i need potions no not at all <laughs> um am i going to use all of the potion recipes in the automatic potion brewer probably not i'll probably only make like two or three potions but it's I'm, I'm using it as a way to do a very cool build so i'm actually really okay about that because i think it turned out pretty well we're going to have like a sort of bit of a long house here then a tower back in that like corner over here and a few fields with some nether ward and all cool uh, sort of stuff so basically just using this as an excuse for doing some more cool builds which i think that's totally fine i play this game for building and having fun anyway so even though it's not the most useful building it should be fine yeah don't think there's much more to say i'll do the build as always and i'll probably come back and show you how i built the automatic potion brewer it's really simple but just show you it and then i'll also do an interior because i've actually designed the interior for this but uh, don't really know if i'll do that live or what i'll do i think i'll find that out but um for now uh, i'll start a time lapse of me building the build itself and then we'll take a look at it in just a moment so enjoy the build enjoy the music and see you in a bit All right, here we have it. The build, it's done. It's looking nice, as I think. I think it turned out pretty well. Um, I don't know why, but for some reason, I just realized I've been calling it a brewing house for the entire episode. It obviously is a potion brewing house, which I guess is sort of the same, but just so you don't get it confused. It's a brewing, potion brewing house, of course. 
But yeah, I just edited the rest of the video and I realized it's getting a bit long. So I'll quickly give you a tour uh, around the build and then we'll end off the episode. So we start off with the main build here and we have a tower and some fields in the background. So let's start off with the main building. Uh, as I said, on an interior. So I was kind of like thinking, so this is like a library area. So uh, I'll put some book and quills in these lecterns and then those could maybe be like books of potion recipes. So all of these books are full of potion recipes. So when they need a new uh, brewing recipe, they will come down here and look in a book. Over this way, I imagine this is sort of like a, a laboratory testing lab where they test new uh, brews and <laughs> new recipes they can test them here and then this is just sort of like a little area for growing nether wart I guess <laughs> just another little little area to fill out the space if we go upstairs we'll come up to the automatic potion brewer which is it looks kind of advanced but it really isn't actually so you can see I actually didn't have all of the uh, resources for potion brewing so some of these are still empty uh, but I probably won't be using them anyway. So yeah, it's just because it's nice to have this machine. Really, I don't really know how much I'll be using it. But yeah, uh, it looks like this from the outside. If you look in here, there's a bit of redstone. Actually, you can see it better from this end. Yeah, there's a bit of redstone back here. Some harbors. Harbors running from over here on the top as well. I'll probably show you how I use this in, a, in an, another episode if I need to brew some potions at some point. If we take the back door, we come out to this like garden area where we have the tower. It's not really anything special. You can just come up here and sort of uh, look over the landscape. There is the tailor workshop, but let's head down again. And uh, this is the back of the house. And here we have another wood field with a bit of mud as well to add some texture. And on the other side, we have a little lake. So like a place to fill water bottles for the potion brewing. And a little like carrot field because you need golden carrots for some of the potions. So a little carrot field. And back here, a little storage shed where there's going to be some redstone or when I get some because you need redstone for brewing as well. But I actually think that's it. I think that's all I had planned for this episode. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope you enjoyed how the builds turned out. I'm super happy with them, especially this brewing house. I think it turned out uh, absolutely as I wanted it to and in a super great way or potion brewing house, I should say. But yeah, I'll end it now before the video gets too long. So hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please feel free to leave a like on the video. Also consider subscribing if you want to. If you have any ideas for builds or other episodes, please leave them in the comment section. Other than that, I'll see you in the next episode. Have an amazing day. Take care of yourself. See you next time. Goodbye.